southwest of Birmingham. So he's got two choices of where, three choices to put him in town of where to fly. So he did good. Proud well, of him. well, good. Well, uh, keep talking here. I want to get a little bit longer video. In okay. Introduce yourself again. He's Bill Elliott. He Bill was the Elliott. winner of the last contest day. Um, and this is my nephew, Elliot Martin. So, so what did you, what did you like most about this the flight? Um, either what I said earlier was the approach, or being able to, um, being able to know what all the instruments did and what they mean. So it was very interesting. And you talked about um, you guys came off tail. You were pretty close to cloud base. Yeah, yeah. It, it looked like a video game almost. It was just clouds were everywhere, and the ground was three thousand feet below us. Very interesting. Did you get some uh, lift off the clouds? Did you circle in them? Uh, he tried to, but I don't think it was a very strong cloud. So, strong thermal. They were pretty weak, so you flew down by the bridge and came back and entered the pattern? Uh, well, we, threw, we flew down to the bridge and then back to the uh, lake over here and then circled around to the pattern. So, yeah. Well, the contest... Uh, when all the contestants have been introducing themselves this week, Linda's asked him to tell the story of your first tow. Uh, you'll remember you were at the 18 Internationals with your Uncle Bill, and had the pleasure of John Lubine giving you a fly. So. Well, I thought I might try to write the article for Soaring Magazine uh -huh. with that theme. Yeah, well, that's as a great theme. To introduce, talk about the experiences that the contestants had on their first flight, and then uh, we'll will tell your story. Uh, it really is amazing how many people that tell their stories. They have been enamored with flying since they were little. And most of them have got model airplane experience and have been around airplanes and did anything, that, anything they could do to fly. So it was kind of um, fascinating to hear everybody's stories. They're all very similar in, in that regard. And then they all decide that they need to find a, a Work hard in school and have a profession that can support this hobby. Afford it, yeah. I mean, I've had Mike Smith say that he became an airline pilot so because he, yeah. he was trying to find a profession that would give him time to do his sport and well and also exactly. pay for it. Exactly. So he became an airline airline pilot. So uh, uh, Dave Nadler, uh, he became uh, an electronic uh, software engineer. And so, All right. well, thanks a lot. Thanks for the interview.